And you know, this is just another isometric drawing where they assume that you're going to do some descriptive geometry. This lower edge is an eighth of an inch inset as well. So it's just the inverse of this guy. Um, as you can see, they're basically both three inches long. Um, now, it becomes tangent here, right? And it becomes tangent here. So when you build your sketches, you're probably going to have to develop where those, where those planes actually intersect, or where this, where this sketch needs to end and begin down here. Just like the assignment that you did um, last week with the I-D. Um, and obviously, with this one, right, you're going to have an I-beam that's longer on the top that goes straight down. And then this one's going to be an I-beam that's longer on the bottom that comes up. So a um, little, uh, little bit trickier than the part that she had last week, but maybe not because I don't think there's as many elements in there. Um, and it is English. And... Um, all the fillets that are on here are an eighth of an inch. That's what they're referring to right here. And they don't call it out anywhere else. But you can see all the fillets on the edges that, that are all one eighth. So the other part that I want to go through, um, let's see. I should be So this part, there's no multi-section solves on this, but there is a um, there's a command that I'm going to show you, and it's called combine. So basically, you have two shapes and you combine them together and you get one. It's a re it's really powerful command um, when you get like a 2D definition on maybe a drawing and you want to create a 3D model of something. Uh, let's say you get a fastener, right? and you want to understand, well, how long is this fastener? I've got a 2D drawing, and it tells me what it is, and I've got the, the shape of, of the hex on top uh, in math, and then I've got the, this view. You basically can combine those and get something that um, is very similar to what you would have if you, if you had the actual math data, other than the threads. Um, and there's other elements that are out there that, um, you know, that are very, you can very well use 2D elements in two directions to create what you need. Um, this part, I want to show you some, some differences within this part. So if I go to this body right here, and this is just like um, the part that you did and you put the multi-section solid in under one sketch. I actually built this sketch up here, but if you look, it copied it. So I didn't understand that I was out of this body. This is where I wanted to build both of them though. And obviously when I built it, it just copied it. That's what I was telling you about last week. If you build them somewhere else, it's gonna put them in that tree anyways. So with this one, uh, let me delete this so you can see what the sketches look like. I want to keep the children. Uh, let's, go, let's do this. Let's back out this part. Let me show you how. Just delete these elements, and then I'll come back into it. Because I've got some, I've used um, the intersect command in this to delete some of the, or to define some of these other elements based off the geometry that was already created. So I don't really want to this. this one. All right, so this. All right, so when I said the shape, two shapes, if you look at this, you can see the shapes are outlined here. And obviously, it's just a center line section here going, this, going in the Z direction. And then there's one going in the Y direction to define this shape. 
So you can see that's what this is right here. And it's this is basically set up the way you see this, this isometric model. So once you develop these two sketches, um, and you want to go ahead and make the, the uh, make this solid, it's right here, it's called solid combined. And if you look underneath it, the only other thing that's underneath here is, is a rib. So this isn't one of those ones where there's a negative mm. because you're basically combining two things. And uh, when you pick the profile in here, it, you know, you can see that it, it'll only let you do two profiles because obviously if you're gonna combine something all the model does is it goes, it projects something out in space and it projects something the other way. Where they intersect gives you the actual shape that you want. And um, so like that one, I'm not even out of the command yet and it shows me what the, what the shape's gonna be. Um, so there's, there's some limits to this and the limits are the same in most, in all the modelers that are out there. In other words, your sketches have to be contained within each other. And what I mean by that is, if you look, my outside edge here for this front curve is exactly where this line goes through this way. And it's the same thing going this direction. Mm -hmm. So if you have, and this, this, this height could be anything here, but I gotta intersect, or at least I gotta touch here and here for it to be valid. So that's kind of the rules with those two sketches, but that's one of those ones where if you have a drawing that shows you something like that, it's very easy to quickly do something um, to develop this and have a 3D model quickly based off those. And it can be a drawing, it can be an isometric part. Um, doesn't work for everything. You have to be kind of careful about what you work on and try and use the combine for. Uh, but that's that's how the command works. Um, let me close this and reopen it because I want to show you some of the other challenges with that part. Okay, so if you look at it right now, this part has to be. Um, assembled and I can tell you when you build it one of the things you got to watch out for and I can see this one I can see the tangencies off in this one so if I go into this body right here in this sketch I should zoom way in on this that's another one of those ones where it's tangent here and so the circle does come out to this center point or this center line and uh, this needs to be trimmed back to this point. So what's going to happen is this, this is going to be deleted. And there's one in the middle there. That one's going to be deleted. And I'm just going to put, when you develop this, if you use the, if you use the, uh, some of the dimensions, you'll see that when you bring this out, um, it becomes tangent with this circle, that's another one of those ones that was projected in that viewer intersected. So all I, I'm, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna delete it, and then I'm gonna put another line in here in those two points. And then this will be exactly tangent with, with this uh, cylinder shape. And now if you look at it, you can see that it's tangent. Now, here's kind of the thing on this part. On a lot, and the, the drawing shows you, and this, this one is metric, it's showing you a three radius here, okay? And uh, all the radiuses on here are three. They're just calling that one out. So it's just like the other part where there's one that's called out. Um, the, the trickiest radius in here is, is this one right here, and I'll show you why. So uh, I think this thing, hopefully this thing is in uh, metric. Hopefully I didn't do anything. 
anything with it. And, uh, so, in English. So I'm going to go up here and say define and work object. And then I'm going to assemble all these pieces together. That's the other thing that I saw when I was looking at parts this week is um, I see assembles being made, but the first the first item in the tree, instead of it being a body, it's a pad. When you do an assemble, basically the first item, it's a part body, uh, or I should say it's a body, and if you've got to build a pad in there, that's where you build it. So I see pad, and then I see all these assembles coming off of it. So just remember, the first branch is going to be a body. Okay, so at the bottom of this one, I'm just going to uh, assemble this. Okay, so this is a valid box. So I'll just do that. Now, when you go to put the fillets on this, I'll show you why the three is tricky. But there's an easy way to go back and edit it. Um, so if I look at this shape, I'm probably going to do um, this one and this one first. This thing's showing me inches. Let's see. I better change change scale here. I think this the last model that I built on here was uh, in English. By the way, if you're ever in on English model and you bounce over and do it for a fill on, it's because of the size difference on these parts. So it'll tell you, I can't put a fill it there. And then you, then you realize that you're trying to put something in there that was just way too big for the part. Okay, so I'm going to pick that one and this one, do these two. And that's going to give me this bridge that this is going to wrap over. And now I can go in here and do this one. And if I don't do that one now, and I come back to try and do it, it's going to flare. It's going to flare this one up. If I do a Control Z on that, let me show you what's what's going to happen with it. So I'll do this one, and then I'll do uh, I'll do this one on this edge, so you can see. Now see this one already flared up. Okay, that's what happens, and I and it. I'm assuming this one will do the same thing on this edge because I didn't define that other one first. Yeah, so there, see how it flares up? And then if you come in to put a fillet on there, you'll say no problem, but as you can see, this face just grew and it grew back here too. So that's kind of the rule of thumb. You don't want to do that. So if I delete these, this one too. I'm going to go back and do this one first. This is going to control all the fillets as they wrap around there. Do this one. And then I'll do, do this one right here because I'm going to want it to wrap all the way around that. And that one's built, no issues. Um, coincidentally, on this part, when you build this piece, in body five, here's the sketch. There's a value on the drawing where this actually intersects the combined part. That's where it doesn't become tangent here. There's a value, and I think it's it's five millimeters off. It's well, this this is ten millimeters, so it shows you from this point to here it's twelve. So that's where the intersection point is. And if you look, you can see where I used. I basically intersected all the solids that were uh, above it to see where that touched. So the critical part on this, if, if I go to put this in here now, oops, I don't want that. Let me please select this three here. Okay, I'm gonna run the three. Now, here's the issue with this, okay, and this is why you gotta pay attention to how you build this. 
it has pulled it has pulled this face off okay and um, let me show you how I'm going to fix it so normally you would think oh well you just need to come down three millimeters for that right well it's a little bit different than that because uh, you have to become tangent with something that's three millimeters. So in order to place this, so you see this, it says three millimeters and there's a point there. In order to place this, the easiest thing to do is put a, uh, put this in there and um, So now I've got a six, which obviously is a three radius in here. What that shows me is, and it's locked to this edge because I created it right there on that point. Now what that's going to do, I think I'm coincident here. So let me delete that, that, and that, because I had that point in there that I, I basically had built that from. If I go in here now, I can grab this line and see I want to become tangent right there. Now my other end should stay locked because that is a true value from the top and that's on the drawing or the, the isometric drawing. So if I exit that now and if I look at it, eh, I better redefine it. See, let me delete that. It should have updated. Maybe, maybe I don't have it at, uh, it should be exactly three though and it should be from that top edge. So there we go. So that's how you that's how you get that edge so that you've actually got and if that doesn't, um, let's say you, you go in here and you do this and you say, uh, all right, well, or you've got a similar part with this. Sometimes you have to come off at a different value. And um, but you can obviously put that exactly where it needs to be. Now, you don't need to do that up here because the fillet has enough room to run. No issue there. Rest of the parts pretty straightforward. Holes. Um, one of the things you got to pay attention to on this. Where these different sketch, where you where you basically build these sketches. If you do this one in the center, it's not a big deal. If you do this one, you do that one on this plane, the one on this plane to build this. Uh, oh, here's this offset. So it's 12 from this plane right here, which is 17 total. It's, it's uh, five out to the edge and another 12. So this point is 17 out from this plane or 17 out from the center line. Same thing on the other side. And this drill, this drill through goes all the way through the part fits over some, this thing fits over some kind of a pin. And that's why that's on there. And then there's another piece that goes through here. And this, this goes around something that's um, cylindrical, hold it in place. Okay, questions on either one of these two? Okay, I'm gonna send them out. Um, and I gotta close the classroom up tonight at nine, because I gotta be down at the airport to get the next flight out to another state to work on a problem. So um, I, got, I gotta go down there and be on call to get the next flight out. So um, let me send these out, and I will be here until nine.
Yeah, I just like, until you're done. So I did not understand. It was just like, oh, you know, like, head and like, that that's so good. The amount of things I took from that movie was just like, I just hit rack of time and drum was all in place. That's, that's, that was the same thing. I drew mine in like Photoshop or something, but like, I started like, I just basically, like, there you go, here's something. I took the headphones off, just put stuff in there. Well, like, I saw a thing in the movie, it's like, it's super easy to do whatever, and I was just like, I can just go over there, just draw a box. Yeah, no, and I, they're usually four to five. Four to five. 